Dr. Aidan Elliott and this is the complete guide to Shakespeare. Welcome to the first video of four designed to give you an understanding of the main themes in Romeo and Juliet. Fate, hate, death and love. The first theme is fate and I'll discuss its role in the story and highlight key quotes that you can use in tests, essays and examinations. The words fortune or fate are dotted throughout the play and fate is important because it determines the tragic direction of the story. It's first mentioned in the opening lines of the play. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Alliteration on the letter F draws our attention to the word fatal meaning deadly but also notice that the sound of the word fatal also suggests fate. The term star-crossed reinforces the idea of a heavenly power and the words take their life also has a double meaning. It means they are created by their parents but simultaneously suggests that they will take their own lives at the end of the play. Then in Act 3, Scene 1, after Mercutio and Tybalt are killed, Romeo says, oh, I am fortune's fool. The idea is that he's being used for the gods' entertainment, like a fool in a royal court. Notice again the alliteration, drawing our attention to the F of fortune. Later in the story, the friar concocts a plan to keep Romeo and Juliet together. He wants to convince the Capulets that Juliet is dead and then send Romeo a letter telling them how and where the couple can be reunited. Sadly, the letter doesn't get through. Again, the work of fate, leading the friar to exclaim, Oh, unhappy fortune. Fate can clearly be kind or unkind, but this being a tragedy, it's unkind. After Romeo has killed Paris, reluctantly, in Act 5, Romeo reinforces the idea that everyone's future is already written. He says to Paris, the dead Paris, O oh, give me thy hand, one writ with me in sour misfortune's book. In keeping with the tragedy, fate here is sour or bitter. And as the play ends, we have two quotes reminding us about fate's role. First, a reference to the gods in heaven, represented by stars. Here will I set up my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world-wearied flesh. The stars are inauspicious, meaning unlucky. This adjective reinforces the idea that fate has preordained ill fortune for him. He also invokes the idea of his life being under a yoke, a device fitted to an ox, which the animal would use to plough farmland. He is metaphorically yoked to these inauspicious stars and is weary of the world because of what fate has brought upon him. And at the end of the play we hear a final confirmation that fate or the heavens has punished them. Heaven finds means to kill your joys with love. This last quote offers us a possible reason why fate has killed the Montagues and Capulet's joys, their children. On one level it suggests that heavenly forces, the fates, may have written their fates. But it also raises the possibility that the reason fate killed their children was the hate the families felt for each other. In this scenario, the families may be partly to blame for their own fate. So do look out for some of these features as you read, watch and study the play and I hope this brief video has given you some new insights that will help you to get greater enjoyment from Romeo and Juliet. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe now so that you never miss any of my future posts.